Hello everyone, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Media and today we're going to be talking about using the high level CRM and marketing platform and specifically we're going to be talking about adding contacts and we're going to talk a little bit about managing those contacts and I have with me today uh, David Vance and David why don't you introduce yourself as we get started here this morning. Well, thanks so much for the invitation and, and I'm so excited to join you today here. Uh, going over these uh, different uh, options for us here with the high level program and excited to uh, just see how I can uh, maximize and, and, and be more efficient, not only in high level for myself, but all my guys as well. And Dave, it's great to have you with us and your expertise from uh, a lot of industries and a lot of uh, corporate experience, but also in the solar industry. It's really awesome. So let's just jump in. I'm going to share my screen. And uh, we're, looking at, um, we're looking at the high-level account, uh, high account here. And we're going to go to the contacts. And um, we're just going to um, very quickly uh, review a couple of things, Dave, we've talked about in the past. But um, as the guys watch this, these are things they're going to want to know. So the first thing is just is just adding in a um, just adding in a contact. And I'm just going to add one here real quick. We just fill in. We just fill out the blanks. Now, Dave, um, as we do this, um, there's um, um, one thing that I'll let you know, and that is in high level, um, we can turn on email verification, which will then verify each of the emails that come in here. And if they're not any good, it won't try to send email to them, which will cause a spam alert. So, if it, you know, if we do too much of that. Um, and as we talked about last time um, in a meeting that wasn't recorded, um, you know, if you've got a large list, I would support suggest that we have that scrubbed first and not even bring those quote unquote bad contacts or bad email addresses in here, just so it doesn't clutter up everything with a bunch of emails that aren't any good. So um, just to let you know that, and that's a really good feature where, you know, maybe an email address is good today, but next week it's not good. The system will pick that up and let you know um, that it couldn't go through that the email, there's a problem with the email address. All right, so and the other thing I'll show you is the D&D &D right here. That means do not disturb. So if someone clicks on the unsubscribe link, it will automatically set them to D&D. &D. Uh, or if someone just in talking say, hey, you know, I don't want to receive that anymore, you can just manually come in here and click on D&D. &D. So I'll save that. Dave, um, we've got then other information we can put in here. And all of this can be set up according to your business to the fields that you want to use. And um, as we deliver this to our solar clients, it's got just some basic ones in here. So business name, street address, city, country, state, zip, website, time zone. And then um, a lot of the other typical fields like credit score, uh, home value, address of the roof, and there's some others that sometime or that come in with um, various lead gen, you know, household income mm -hmm. and things such as that. <clears throat> but all of those can be set up uh, to whatever you want those to be. So we've got um, we've got a uh, contact that's in here. And uh, then, Dave, I'll review very quickly uh, one other thing we covered yesterday uh, when we uh, when our. Uh, recording did not uh, did not work for us. On the very far right hand, if the contact has been into the website, come in from a Google ad or from a Facebook ad, any of those things like that, all of that activity is tracked and each form that they filled in, it's tracked also. So all that information, their customer journey is uh, appears on the far right hand side. In the middle where it says conversations, these are all the conversations that, uh, that you've had with the customer in the uh, high level database. To send an email, you just click email right there and you just send it right there. You can also put an attachment in. This just happens to be an image I was working on yesterday. Um, that, that attachment is in there and we can just send that. 
And then, of course, there is a record preserved of this right here. Um, if I were to go to that email address and reply back, then um, that reply would be here also. We can also send SMS text messages because we have this set up in your account. And uh, again, we just send that out. Um, that will go to the phone. And Dave, I'm not going to send that because I forget which phone number I put in there. Um, but that will go to the phone. And again, um, the conversation will appear here. And by the way, Dave, if, if the person replies back with any of the common stop words, stop, cancel, anything like that, they'll be automatically removed from the text campaign. All right, so um, I guess, Dave, I better just show really quickly um, here in the settings where we talked about the custom fields yesterday. And any of these fields, um, these are the ones that we deliver with the solar accounts. Uh, you can remove any of these, you can add new ones, and um, just, you know, full freedom with that. And you can also filter based off, off of all of these. And then lastly, tags, and we've got some tags that we come, we have here that are set up. Um, and again, Dave, this sort of gets to the strategy we've been discussing um, apart from the videos we're creating, and that is how you're going to tag uh, the people who are in your database. And the tags are used so that you can easily uh, filter uh, through your contacts. And as we talked about yesterday, you don't want it so granular that all of a sudden you have a giant mess. You know, we've got one client that's got almost like 300 tags and they become not even usable at some point. So we can filter off of all of the fields, all of the custom fields, no problem. So we can get as granular as we want with that. We can save those searches into what's called smart list. So with one click, we can pull that search up all over again. It just automatically populates. But the tags are for the very broad, um, you know, very broadly want to break up the, uh, the database. So that's something very thoughtful to think about in advance, as we've talked about before. So Dave, any thoughts here? This is sort of a review of what we talked about yesterday and our recording did not work, but any thoughts before uh, we move forward and we talk about the CSV files, uploading a CSV file? No, uh, not really. I, I just love the, how I'd say comprehensive this, thing, this whole software and, and the preloading of all the fields that you've already established and, and put in there saves a lot of uh, mental anxiety as we try to create uh, <clears throat> those things. And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I understand that, that also as we as an individual install rather their, their emails and, and, and database from our phones or each one of us is personal. They stay unique into your account and you no no grandiose um, file that that somebody's going to have everybody and we're all going to be duplicating and those kind of things same uh, same leads. Uh, if if I upload my leads there they stay in my um, my folder. Yeah, yeah. So the um, if you have like one account for your team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, each team will be able, each member of the team, you can have only see their, um, their contacts. Mm -hmm. um, um, you, it may be that your team wants to have their own individual high level account so they can do all of their own thing. But if you do have one as a team and that might be, you know, so things that your team are working on, you know, not all the contacts, which is like your mom, your dad, your sister, your aunt, people you knew 10 years ago. But but just as a team, you may have those contacts that are, are either very serious, very serious prospects or those that are customers or clients, something like that. So it, it can go both ways. And of course, um, you'll have full control over that. So I, I think you're correct with that. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Excellent. Very cool. 
So what let's do now is talk about the CSV file because this is a way contact, contacts are moved from one platform to another. Okay. So if you've got your contacts in whatever the platform may be, um, and, and, and all the modern platforms will let you export a list of those, and you just export it. They're exported in a CSV file, which is just a certain type of file type. Um, you can work with it in a spreadsheet. You can work with it in Excel. And um, then you can just upload that spreadsheet into your high-level account. Um, we, you know, we've uploaded as many as like 150,000 200,000, that's, that can get really challenging because then you got duplicates and the system doesn't have, you know, doesn't have duplicates. So you're trying to reconcile, well, you know, why did only 150,000 of them actually make it? So really challenging. If you can do it a few thousand at a time and, you know, 10,000 is pretty simple to do, but I would really keep it, keep the size down a little bit if possible. Okay. So Okay, so I'll go in and share my screen there. And uh, so what I did is, is I just prepared um, uh, a demo, a demo list. And uh, by the way, I'll show you how to delete contacts. It's really super easy. I just click this one right here. I click delete. I confirm that. And Dave, since this is um, this is SaaS, it's online software. There is just a little lag as far as caching goes and everything. Um, in a minute or two, when I reload this, this contact will be completely gone. But there is just a little lag with that, and so that's very common. You know, yeah, whenever you use online software like that, a lot of yep. that, there's a little lag. Okay, yep. so what we're going to do, we're just going to up here at the top at the top menu that has a lot of great things you can do. Uh, one of them import contacts and that's gonna let us select our file. I've got a file prepped up here just for demonstration purposes, just with a couple of people. Now, the next thing we're gonna be asked to do is we're gonna be asked to map any fields that the software couldn't figure out all on its own. We're also gonna make sure that the software did get everything, all the, all the things mapped correctly. Um, and Dave, maybe what I should really do is show, show this spreadsheet so that people see what it, um, see what it looks like here. Just opening up in Excel, and uh, this is a CSV file. So CSV file doesn't save how you've got all your, um, all your columns set with the width and everything like that. And uh, uh, the, the only difference really between it and an Excel file is when you come over here and you say save as, you're going to choose the CSV file format. And that way it can be read by um, a CRM such as high level. So that's basically all that we've got there. <clears throat> so do we, I, I noticed there's two common uh, CSV, uh, a UTF and a uh, common delimited. Is there, which, I mean, which one is the preference we should use? Yeah, CSV, CSV is, is, is the common format just for this. So yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, so um, I'll share once again. And uh, we're gonna go back over here. Now, what we're gonna do Dave, is we're simply going to just go through and make sure everything got mapped correctly. First name is correct. Um, middle, initial, and I'm just going to uh, scroll down here and I'll have, um, I'll have the middle, I'll have the middle name right there. Uh, last name is correct, address, which that's the street address, city, state, postal code, the extra four digits at the end of the postal code, email, phone, uh, whether, you know, the swimming pool field, age, home value, home square foot, power company, let me, uh, let me map that one right there. And I'll just scroll down here and I'll find the one that that goes to. Okay. 
think you zoomed by it. I probably did zoom by it there. I think it was energy company. Right. There you go. Thank you. All right, and we get through the rest of them here. Credit score, we're good to go. So we're just going to click continue. It's going to just let us take a little look here. Say, yeah, that's cool. If you ever want to check back, you can check back on your spreadsheet. Make sure all these are, you know, came through correctly. Say continue. Now we've got the option uh, because we could be updating a um, spreadsheet that you know, is, is just updating information on existing people that are already in there. So we need to pick one of these, um, these options. If an existing contact is in the spreadsheet, uh, by default, we have update them with the data in the document, but only for fields that are empty. Uh, in other words, if that field is already filled with something, we don't want it to change, only if that field is empty. So uh, you have to sort of get the sense there with that, you know, is this spreadsheet actually updating contacts? If so, then I would want to pick the second option, update them with the data in the spreadsheet, including fields that already have a value. So you've got to know your spreadsheet well enough to sort of, you know, to, to give an answer to that. Or, of course, you can say don't don't modify them at all. And, and how would that data be updated per team member um, putting that information in or is do we have something that automatically can still pull that okay so if um, you know if you do have multiple people in your database um, this information is going to this information is going to update not based on who the person is assigned to the contact but rather on the contact itself. So, um, you know, there, there may be some instances where you've got data on contacts for specific team members or something like that. A CSV might not be the best way to do that. Um, it, it's always been my experience, the best way to, to really control a CRM program is whenever you're talking to any customer, previous or new, you, you're going through your CRM and you're filling in the blanks, you're updating information, and that discipline is what's going to be the key to the success of the program. Yeah. Because any comments are maintained on there, discussions, um, future concern or future opportunity, um, so that people that are reading that information that's why it's get, it is this is only going to be as good as the the individual that's putting data in, which is each one of us, team members, <clears throat> um, and 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 doing everything we can to not keep it informed just for us, but any of the team that's looking at these and reading these or assisting with you, the comments are going to be critical to the success of the company. That's right. You know, the, the comments, the notes, keeping all the fields updated. Yep. You can assign tasks or reminders for you or another team member. Yep. You know, I, you know, I need to call in a week or a month or something like that. Then your tasks come up on your um, on your dashboard. So just all of that, you know, a really good sales professional lives and dies by their database, Absolutely. you know. Um, so, uh, and, and that makes a big difference between someone's very successful and is not because quite honestly, you can't keep up with all these people and all their stuff in your head. You can't do it and, and do a good job. No, yep. exactly right. Very cool. So, all right. So let's go on and, um, and look at our next step. So we're just going to update. Um, very easy um, to do that. Yeah. All, we, this is all for new contacts anyway. So we're just going to just let it update. And this, Dave, is where we're going to add a tag. Now, we've got some tags that are already in here. Um, we can, uh, of course, create other tags. But this is the super important part. Uh, and of course, we would think about this in advance um, as to what this tag is, um, this tag is going to, uh, this tag is going to be. 
uh, maybe we're going to say just for this, just for demonstration purposes, these all have, maybe we've, we've got a group of clients. They've all got appointments scheduled. We're just going to go on and update them there. And then at this point, we say done. It's going to work as magic. It's got two people. Um, those are in there right away. It'll take us just a moment to sort of uh, let the system catch up here. Um, and Dave, if we were doing, you know, thousands of them, um, it would be a process of that updating in chunks. And so it, it would take um, it would take just a little while. We've got one of the two um, that are already in here and basically just all the information that's in that CSV is going to be there. You know, that's basically it. We're going to look at the one that's already made it through the system. Uh, but again, you just see all the information that's right here. It's got its tag. Yep. Yep. You know, the general information, street address, zip, all of that. Uh, credit score, home value, uh, zip, age, uh, et cetera, like that. All of it's in there. And um, then, of course, um, you know, here, both of them are in now. And um, at this point, we we just start working them. Uh, so uh, so as far as uploading the CSV, um, it's it's that easy. So, Dave, let's, uh, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are your thoughts um, with that? I'm excited about it, uh, quite honestly, because, uh, um, you know, I, like I said, I have a lot of experience with, with Salesforce and a few others, uh, CRM programs. And and they're they again they're 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 really fantastic tool, but like any tool, it can be abused, it can be misused, it can be sitting on the shelf, um, and and I like the the simplicity of this one, and and the flow that's been created by it. Um, really like the tags you guys have selected for our industry. Uh, it's going to help each one of us as we as we increase our next level of learning. Um, to really start establishing a rhythm uh, within our CRM program. So I, I'm really excited about it. Cool. Yeah. So, um, so we've got our CSV uploaded, it's been tagged. Um, do you think we ought to talk about anything else as far as this training? You want to talk about maybe working those contacts within I the CRM? If, yeah, let, let's, sure. uh, let's step into that real quick and see uh, where that takes us. Sure. And of course, you want to. You want to be able to do this with a minimal amount of time because, um, you know, if you're sitting around uh, just plunking around in your CRM all the time, you're probably not going to sell anything. You know, it's got to be a tool to help towards the end result. So um, we want to streamline everything. We want to put in as much automation as possible. Uh, we don't want to be sitting around all day sending out emails, the exact same thing over and over and over again. You know, so. Um, and we can talk about that. We've got the birth date, which is real important to a lot of situations. You and I were just talking off camera the other day, mm -hmm. um, having, a, having a birth date in there. You can have an automation that sends your birthday greeting or your, yeah, your, your birthday message. It can be a SMS message. It can be an email. It can be both. You can get a notification so that you remember if you want to personally call all of those things are possible to save lots of time. And there may be some customers you say, hey, you know, an email is good enough. Others, you say, I, I don't want anything automated because I just want a reminder to make sure on that sure. birthday or that anniversary, you know, I personally call. So um, all of that's possible there with that. Um, uh, any of the information here, like uh, maybe I get their business name and now I add that. And I'm just going to come down here and save. So any of the information is that's collected. Um, you know, you get that and you just make the change. And maybe you're going to uh, over here, you're going to uh, you're going to put a note, add new. Uh, and it'll be something about uh, maybe their business name or something that's important that you need to uh, you need to have here. You've got your notes. And then that keeps the record of whatever you need to do. Um, say we've got an appointment here, we need to go on and schedule. 
whatever it's for. Uh, you can schedule that appointment that's right here. Then they also, there can be automated reminders that go out, uh, email, text message, however you want that structured. And those automated emails go up. You can even have a reminder, come to yourself. I need to personally call just to warm that up just a little bit. Yeah. So Absolutely. all of that can be done. That's awesome. If you want a task in here, basically a task is, is something that you or a, that you need to do that you assign to yourself or a team member needs to do. And um, you can just, whatever that is, you could have the description right here. Uh, you put who that's assigned to, like we're gonna assign that to Dave. We're gonna put the date, um, the date that that is due by Dave. And uh, we're going to save that. Uh, when Dave comes in, I'm gonna go back out of here for a second. I'm gonna go to the dashboard. So when Dave comes in here, he's going to see that he's got a task that is due in one day. So this basically, basically on the really, really important, important stuff, stuff. This, just, this just helped you stay on task. And you know, if you have anyone on the team, perhaps they're doing certain things for you or you have a VA or something such as that, um, then you, it's an easy way to just assign that and move forward without spending a lot of time. Um, also, Dave, you can set up automations to create certain tasks based on certain criteria. So that's really helpful also. Um, that if, uh, if a certain thing happens, uh, for example, a prospect clicks on a certain link and fills out a certain form, then you want a task that um, a gift, the, your, a, a VA sends a gift with a handwritten note to sure. XYZ. I mean, the sky is the limit, right? Sky is the Absolutely. limit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so anyway, back over here into... <clears throat> Back over in here to our contacts, uh, to our smart list, and uh, we're into this contact one more time. Um, um, I think that is pretty much. I think that is pretty much it. Just really, just very basic. Uh, if you wanted any other fields, those could be put in here. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I think it's very basic. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's very very basic in uh, in working that. And a really cool thing, just with two contacts, I know that it's hard to. Uh, um, I know that it is. Um, I know that it's hard to see right now. Uh, a lot of times, what we'll do is we'll filter these. Let's say we're going. To, we can filter by all of these things right here. So you know we can get really granular with it. Say we're going to filter uh, with. Um, we're going to. Have, filter with the contacts that um, have an appointment. And then Dave on the little plus sign right here, I'm going to save this list. Okay. And I'm going to say, um, I usually put really small, like abbreviated things here, but I'll make a long one here. Contacts with um, appointment. I save this. This comes up here. So Anytime I want to come back and I want to see contacts with appointment, boom, it repopulates this list. I don't have to come over here and filter the same filter over and over and over and That's over fantastic. again. <laughs> yeah, huge time saver. Yep. And Dave, let's say we've got all of these contacts. I've already got this saved to filter. Let's say I want to take all of them. If I want to add them into a campaign where they all get an automated email, click, I can do that. Okay. If I want to send them an SMS text message, click, I can do that, follow right through that process. If I want to send all of these an email, click and follow right through that process. And if I want to use an email template that I've already got set up with everything right. filled out, click, click, boom, done, out. It, it, you know, it just with a Very little bit of, yeah, with a little thought, you know, you can do some of these really quickly. 
And uh, on the ones where you can have the drip campaigns where you don't even have to even select the, can the, the contacts. I mean, you've just got the criteria already said. It's going to drip when certain things happen. You can move them in and out of campaigns. You can move them in and out of Facebook ad campaigns. Mm -hmm. All right. For, I mean, sky's the limit, you know? Absolutely. Yep. So uh, in a nutshell, that's it, you know? And I think at that point... Um, I think at that point, we're ready to get some live contacts in there, start working them and setting up some campaigns and uh, just go straight from there. What, what are your thoughts here? No, I think that's fantastic. And, and uh, uh, I've started working and exporting some of my, my uh, CSV files and, and uh, contact files that I've had for years and uh, trying to get that updated as much before I put it in and and uh, be working with you to get a scrubber so that I can relate to the guys also um, how to how to get their scrubbed and, and make sure it's valid and so forth. Sure. I, think the big, I think the biggest thing is, um, um, you know, we have we have family members, we have everybody in our phones and those kind of things. <clears throat> and I think the, I think we all have to realize is all data is is just that it's data. Um, what you do with the data then becomes uh, obviously good, bad, or indifferent. And, and there are family members who will be buying solar from you because they want solar and, and so, um, or friends or those kind of things. So I think a lot of it is, is how, what our intent and how professional we are about the, we, we just don't become the guy that bugs the crap out of people, um, that we use a system like this to, to uh, introduce, to to guide, to get inform, and then instead of yeah, you know, hundred percent, and and of course, as you know, with CRMs, uh, you know, they're they take a little bit of time to set up, right? Just quite honestly, yeah. But however, if you can sort of thoughtfully do that and do it incrementally in steps, you know, it's not like you got to save the world today right um right. but it saves you more okay. time right. than i mean you know um so um well, it validates it validates your discipline and and, and it, it'll it'll make you appreciate then your network that you have established and how either unorganized it is or how how well you've thought out your network and and uh I mean, it's not just a phone book that you're dropping in. It's your network. These are all people that have a personal relationship or, or acquaintance or something with you specifically. And so yeah. I, think, I think that's the part we have to, we get through. The, the fear barrier should be, is eliminate. Yeah. Um, the, the, now it's the, the integrity side that we always have to maintain um, and that we go in pursuit of because we are here to help them not just sell them. Yep. And, and I think that's the important part for all of us as, as not only as leaders, but as users of these, of the system. Uh, I think we can, I think we can do some great things here. So I'm really excited about getting mine uploaded and getting the guys to start working within theirs as well. Absolutely. So Dave, I think for now, sounds like we're, sounds like we're good to go. And um, sounds like this, uh, we can go in and conclude the meeting and uh, so. uh, yeah, get, get working on the nuts and bolts. And then as we go to the next step, we can create other videos, maybe when we set up the pipelines and things like that, and mm -hmm. sort of help the guys come along that way too. No, I think, I think that's absolutely correct. And, and you know, looking forward to uh, taking this whole thing to the next level. Absolutely. Well, Dave, we'll go in and conclude for now and uh, okay. look forward to uh, um, uh, look forward to when we make the next video. Sounds great. Thank you. Appreciate your time, Alan. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks.